Ever wonder why your cassette recordings sound muddy and distorted? Most people mess up one simple setting, and it ruins everything. I'll show you the pro trick that'll make your tapes sound crystal clear. Now we're going to look at the same bit of music on Audacity, which is what we just heard. The mistake most people make is they set it up on the quiet bit and then wonder why it sounds bad on the loud bits. You could argue that all sounded nicer and crisper, but look what happens when you get to the loud bits. That's just nasty, and now you can see what it looks, it's all red, and this is what it should have sounded like. Distortion sounds nasty and is totally avoidable. I couldn't have said it better myself. Look at this. This is actually, this big purple thing here is a single tone that you can see there. And all this up here is a mess that's been recorded because it's all too loud. And it's the mess that you can hear that is that horrible background noise to the sound that you're listening to. And it's not good. And if you thought that was bad, this is what it looks like when you spread it out. See, every one of those little peaks is a noise which shouldn't be there. It's really, really nasty. On a recording, the wider signals equal sound that should not be there. There is the noise added to the recording. The different types I have included represent the most common on cassette and reel-to-reel -reel tape. These things are easier to see than to hear. It has a spread of over 10,000 hertz from only one kilohertz. That means it's 10 times wider than it should be. Subscribe. Like. Let's keep it simple.